Pro League Network presents Carom. This dexterity-based tabletop game originated in India but has taken the world by storm. A hybrid of billiards and tabletop shuffleboard, Carom is played by all ages and all skill levels. But tonight, four of the best players in the game will compete head-to-head -head when PLN presents Pro Carom Tour. I am your host, Pranav Bihari, here with my co-host, Dr. Nilesh Mehta. Uncle Nilesh, let's talk about these matchups we've got here. Ajay, the exterminator, Aurora, versus Yogesh, the punisher from Pune, Pardeshi. What can you tell us about these guys? They're powdering up the board. Give us a quick intro to them and their styles. You are looking at two brilliant carom players, Absolutely. Pranav. Absolutely. Uh, Yogesh Pardeshi uh, on, uh, wearing a teal-colored shirt and uh, Ajay uh, wearing a navy blue shirt. Ajay, a left-handed carom player. Yogesh Pardesi, a right-handed player. Wow. Yogesh Pardesi, uh, Pranav, a three-time world champion. Unbelievable. And, An absolute legend in the game. And Ajay Arora, on the other hand, uh, has risen through the ranks of yes. U.S. carom and yes. now the number one carom as they shake hands. Some sportsmanship Which there. is a customary move prior to starting a game. And... Uh, what Yogesh is doing right now is clearing, clearing all the, board. the borders of the powder because the powder can sometimes be an impediment right, while right. you are playing. Uh, a total professional, absolute legend in the game, a quiet terror on the board, a man of few words, but big love for the game of Karam versus Ajay, who actually comes from a very storied Karam family. Yeah, Ajay comes from the northern part of India, and mm -hmm. uh, both his parents are uh, very accomplished Karam players. Absolutely. And of course, uh, Karam is in his genes, you might say. Absolutely, it and, is. And uh, he's, he's played very He played f for a long time in the beginning and then took a break. And then after he came to the United States, Karam was reborn. The fire for Karam never died out yeah. within him. And it's only burned brighter. And here he is now sitting across from a legend. Two legends. We have a legend in the making in Ajay versus Yogesh, who's been in the game a long time. Just a consummate, just giant of the sport. Here we go, powdering up the board, getting ready. Yogesh Pardesi, just watch the focus and the it. attention he you can, generates. You can see it in his eyes. Ajay Arora is doing the break. Wow. Healthy and, break. And you saw that uh, he was able to pocket a white coin, so his turn continues. That the reason they put the powder on this surface is to smoothen it, smoothen it out. Karam, of out. course, a timeless tabletop game and the attention personified Yogesh Pardesi. They call it finger billiards, but we have to say Karam is the big brother to billiards. Billiards is like baby, baby Karam. Uh, this game takes a lot more focus, a lot more intuition, a lot more knowledge of the board. And uh, Yogesh uh, attempted to bring that black coin from the opposite frame to his side. And Ajay is now eyeing all the whites. His goal is to reduce as many whites as he can so that he can put himself in a better position. And this is what players at this level do. Ooh. And that was a small a break. miss. No problem. Two Double. different styles here. Ajay, a very fast player. Yogesh, very measured, very quiet, very slow. Because what we are going to be thoughtful. seeing are four boards. This is the first of four boards. And uh, nine white coins, nine black coins, and one red. The queen. Queen. And the queen carries three points. And each of those coins uh, have one point each. So at the end of the board, we will uh, tabulate uh, how many points go to the winner. Right. Uh, Ajay sets up for his next stroke. And a lot of times, uh, Pranav, you will see a defensive strategy. When Absolutely. things are not open, they pull the coins toward your base because it's easier to hit a coin from a shorter distance rather than a longer distance. As you can see, the precision of Yogesh Pardesi. Absolutely. And, and look, at his, look at his focus as you see him play. And an absolute master of dexterity. And you see that how he brought the red to his base. Yes, he did. And he's got the queen is, here. That is pure mastery. And now he's going to try to release the black on the other side while he's going to pocket the red. Wow. And see how Brilliant. he brought the black Brilliant to his shot. base. Brilliant 
straight coins at this level of play are uh, coins that you would not miss. And this is a home shot. Wow. He got that, so he's down to one coin. An absolute juggernaut on the board, or if you're Indian, a juggernaut. And uh, there are six whites. So six plus three. Wow. Incredible. Six plus three, nine points. Incredible show from Yogesh Pardeshi. Yeah. So nine points to Yogesh Pardeshi after the end of first board. And what you saw here, uh, if you were to quickly analyze this, is the methodical manner in which Yogesh Pardesi operated. Absolutely. And how he made his other coins simpler yes. while pocketing Absolutely. the ones that are very obvious Setting ones. Setting himself up for victory throughout the entire match. Right. Absolute master strat strategist in the game of Karam. Uh, and a very reverential, humble. He's a tremendous humanitarian. Also, great taste in jewelry, might I add. Okay, he's got four or five rings on. All of them look amazing. I mean, this guy is something else. I wonder if there's an advantage with all the rings, though. Look at that wow. break. He's got Brilliant two whites. Already, already pocketed two whites on the break. So from nine, he's down to seven. And now he's, and this is what we call as a rebound shot. Hit the frame and bring Amazing it back home. Amazing shot. Amazing shot. He's uh, playing a home shot, we call it. Yep. This time was a miss. It's okay. But it is sitting at a point where it might block Ajay's pocket. Yes. So good. Okay, Ajay, taking advantage. One missed shot at this level of play could mean an entire board for somebody. Ajay has two difficult black coins on the opposite side. Yes, He's going he to try and, try and attack those. Okay. But uh, So he was going to use the black coin and hit the white to take it in this left-sided pocket. But mm -hmm. uh, it was a miss hit. But not a bad miss hit because the coin ended up close to the pocket. So the next turn... Yogesh is going to be able to take that. Absolutely, absolutely. And that that was a that was a miss by Ajay again, not well executed. And now Yogesh is eyeing the red coin, or we call it the queen, because the queen is important. It has three points. Ajay just sank the queen. It's Yogesh. Uh, so, so sorry, Yogesh just sank the queen. And he's now going for his cover. And he did it nicely. The king Pranav. took his queen with the cover. The Pune Punisher up on the line. Brilliant double, brilliant combo shot there. And you see that the coin just drops into the pocket. That's true mastery, absolute self-control. Again, another, the precision. Another combo shot, brilliant. So now it's hard enough to hit one. It, for me, it's hard enough to hit the striker. Okay, yeah. this guy's hitting three, four coins at a time. Unbelievable. Well, you're focusing more on the jewelry than his precision. Hey, listen, Uncle, let's just stick to the game, all right? Yeah. Well, you were the one who brought up jewelry, and I didn't. Okay, Yogesh setting up a setting up a back shot, and he's going to use that to bring the other white out. Wow! Look at Brilliant that Brilliant cut. That's a money shot. That truly is. And now he is on the verge of finishing the board. Mm -hmm. We have. Look at the number there of blacks on the board. There it is. Seven blacks on the board. So it's a board of 10 points. 10 points. So Going after, to Yogesh Pardeshi. So after, <clears> 10 <throat> after the second board, Yogesh Pardeshi is leading 19-0. Wow. A true Lord of the Rings, Yogesh Pardeshi. Uh, really, Ajay must be sweating at this point. Uh, a brilliant player in his own right, though. We can't count him out at all. Ajay is about to break. This is the third board. Brilliant and break, brilliant break. Ajay has to make a Sank comeback. A white. He has to make a comeback, Pranav, in this board. Yes, he does. Wonderful shot. So the easy ones, he's going to try and take them. Except for that back corner. He's saving that for something special. 
And he... Ajay is now feeling himself, feeling the momentum, putting the heat on Yogesh, the Punisher Pardeshi. And now he's eyeing the red because he has a cover. Because after every time you take oh, the... And he missed it. Just missed the queen. But one of the, one of the things that we need to tell our audience is after you take the queen you have to have a mandatory cover absolutely otherwise the queen comes back in the middle that's exactly right and if you come for the queen you best not miss yogesh taking a black and yogesh is now yogesh taking, taking the, the queen taking the queen taking full advantage he's going to go for that uh, combination shot to get the cover wow which he does another combo covered it with ease with aplomb and now he's going to try and cut that coin and bring the striker back so that he can uh, make it simpler. By the way, uh, a slight correction. We have Yogesh up by 20. It's a do or die situation for Ajay Arora at the moment. And look at wow. that deft touch. But Yogesh, just a master. Look and at that. Right the man the with the magic fingers, the Lord of the Rings. The center Punisher of the from pocket, Pune, right? Right there, right there. Nothing but net. Oh, too much power for my Jay. For some of never these. an ounce of energy wasted, never anything more than necessary. This guy is incredible. And one of the things that Pranav you will observe as we watch these players is uh, the calculated moves. They already have lined up. Two or three moves ahead. Uh, I think it's almost moves. like a game of chess. Absolutely, it is. These are true generals on the battlefield of the carom board. Wow, Ajay just taking the advantage. What a lovely Yet shot another. that was. Unbelievable. So it's down to one coin. And if he gets this, in, this one in, it's game over. Listen, we're seeing a true legend at work here. I mean, Tricky shot, but if anyone can do it. Look wow. Wow. And Incredible that's... combo by Yogesh, the Punisher Pardeshi, the Lord of the Rings himself, the silent predator, a true warrior of the carom board. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Pranav Bihari. This is my co-host, some random uncle I found on the street. Any last words, Dr. Nilesh Mehta? No, I'm, I'm very grateful uh, for this opportunity, and I want to thank you, Pranav, for putting up... Uh with me you're welcome you're welcome and thank you too it's been an absolute pleasure commenting on these on these absolutely riveting matches with you everybody remember to tune into the pro league network and u.s carom association thank you very much good night and now let's take a look at a new project currently in development at the pln lab Introducing Ultimate Tire Wrestling. Competitors use judo and American freestyle wrestling in this new combat sport where grapplers can win a decision by gaining control points or a finish by stuffing your opponent in the hole. The match ends when over 50% of your opponent is inside the tire. No striking, no submissions, and nowhere to hide. It's Ultimate Tire Wrestling coming in 2024 to Pro League Network. Pro League Network presents Carom. This dexterity-based tabletop game originated in India but has taken the world by storm. A hybrid of billiards and tabletop shuffleboard, Carom is played by all ages and all skill levels. But tonight, four of the best players in the game will compete head-to-head -head when PLN presents Pro Carom Tour. Welcome back. We're watching the Pro League Network and U.S. Carom Association's Pro Carom Tour Invitational at the 2023 U.S. Open here in Frederick, Maryland, the Bangalore of the East. I am Pranav Bihari here with Uncle Dr. Nilesh Mehta. Uncle Nilesh, how are you doing? How are you feeling? This tournament is hot. We had a very strong showing from Yogesh Pardeshi. Here we are now with Preeti, the Cobra Queen of Karam Jakotia versus Jamil, the Lion King of Karam Kure. Yeah. 
nephew. My heart is beating out of my chest. Don't call me nephew. It's creepy. Just. Well, I mean, if you call me uncle, then uh, uncle's. Uh, if you call me uncle, you are a nephew. But let's come back to the game here. A, a very avuncular thing to say. Just giving a very <laughs> detailed explanation. You know, I would hate for you to teach me math at the dinner table. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, absolutely terrifying already. How about uh, I teach you a thing or two about carom? Uh, you did try to do that. Uh, then you abandoned me to some some random guy out there in the table. Another tables. uncle. It was another uncle. Yeah. <laughs> um, a slightly better teacher, though. I will say uh, there is, by the way, a very hefty cash prize for the winner of this tournament. And and the loser has to hear Nilesh Uncle sing. I don't know if you guys knew that, but the stakes are very high. Do the you know, stakes are very you, high. You have no idea how many hits I have on the YouTube. Okay. You hits, have no idea. Meaning people punching themselves in the yeah. face when they hear you sing. Yeah. Here we are starting the game. So it's Preeti Jakotia against Chamil Kurir. Preeti Jakotia, of course, uh, uh, came to the U.S. in 2016. Yes, she did. And uh, in the 2022 uh, big tournament, the world right. tournament, uh, she had a podium finish as he strikes first. Wow. And uh, we'll tell you more about each of these players. But uh, let's get to the actual game here. Uh, Chamil Kure from Sri Lanka. Uh, the undisputed champion wow. from the island nation of Sri Lanka. Um, wow. Uh, Preeti with the back shot. Preeti with another back shot. Unbelievable. Check out that decorative festive striker. And uh, Priti, of course, eyeing to take all the nine white coins as Chamil's intention would be to take uh, all the nine black coins wow. before Priti does. Just a near miss on the white coin. So oh. both uh, uh, two misses by Chamil. Chamil Kure. fumbled the bag. Here we go. Priti coming in, trying to take advantage again, sizing up the board, looking like a real auntie. Check out the tattoo on her left arm. I don't know if you know this. She was in a violent street gang before Karam saved her life. Yeah, she's hiding that from you at the moment. I'm kidding. That's actually her, her husband and her daughter. But Yeah, this is that attempted head cut, that <laughs> shot, because she was trying to take that white coin and release some of the other coins, but uh, unsuccessful. Now, what has happened is that has opened up the board for wow. Chamil Kure. Okay. And uh, Chamil is uh, now just... Uh, Chamil, ooh. Hey, that's a miss. Playing, it was a miss, but has some defensive potential. Here we go, Preeti. Takes Preeti. the red. Wow, takes what the an queen. incredible bank shot. The queen takes the queen. And that's covered. So if Preeti ends up winning this board, three points will be added to the number of black coins that might be remaining in that's the event true. Preeti wins this board. In the so event Preeti wins, she comes one step closer to not having to hear you sing. Unbelievable. The stakes yeah. are super high. Yeah, she's down to two coins now, Pranav. That's why the uh, bells are tolling. And... Uh, She's going to take this. Oh, Ooh. and that was probably not an open lane and just uh, okay. traffic okay. traffic for Preeti. As Chamil now will be interested oh, in could be reducing the, the number of coins. Uh, could, could be taking the advantage. That's the name of the game, reducing coins in order to get a big bag of coins at the end. And now... Two coins remaining for Preeti. Of course, remember, Preeti has already taken the red or the queen. Preeti's taken the queen. Queen and is taken the queen. And if she gets this, there will be five blacks on the board. Oh, Ooh. she ended up in Edward. Wow, a little Chamel's bit of friendly coin. fire there. A little bit of friendly fire. Jamal rushing in to take advantage, known as a fast player. Ooh. And look at that shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot Made by the other Jamel. coin a little easier. Unbelievable. And they're down to one each. And Jamal, if he takes it... Oh, oh, he misses. He misses. So these are the Challenging money shot coins, under right? pressure. Yes, they are. Those are the money shots. Uh -oh. And look at that. Wow, brick for brick. Here we go. So this, these are the kinds of misses that will cost you uh, dearly. Oh, my gosh. This is Same uh, corners. Both of them are bricking. We seem to have a psychological log jam here between them. Okay. This is something Preeti that broke uh, through finally you at don't the end. see that the power often. of the yellow striker. No, we don't. And uh, now four points to Preeti Jakotia. And uh, f these are, of course, four boards. And the first board, Preeti has got four points. And it will now be Chami Kure's turn. Yep. <laughs>
He will be setting up the board. So what you see right now is what we call a setting up the board. He wants to line up those whites that are towards him, and he gives a gentle press to ensure that all the coins are kissing each other. And, and this of is course, the they powder the board to make it fast. Wow, what a break. Setting himself up for greatness right now. Two coins in his back right pocket. Just waiting to be sunk. Oh. That's an uncharacteristic miss by Chamil. Preeti, wow. Under the tutelage of none other than Yogesh, the Punisher from Pune, Pardeshi. She's really, the Cobra Queen of Karam is really rising to the occasion here. Okay. And you saw that uh, shot that he just played. I he did. used the coin on his right. Oh, as wow. An Sank a really great long shot there. And now he is going to eye the red, which is the queen, Ooh. and he misses it, which gives an Putting opportunity. The queen in the queen's. Back right pocket, what's she going to do? And uh, before you take the red or the queen, you have to take one of your own coins. So yes. there were nine blacks on the board. Preeti ensured that she took one of her own black coins before she attempted the queen. Absolutely. But now queen. Wow. wow. This is a very riveting game. I'm kind of losing my mind right now. Both of them, they seem to be mimicking or mirroring each other's shots in many occasions. Brick and for brick, she did not cover the queen this time. And the queen comes back. The queen comes back. Return of the queen. Wow. Both players, uh, we are seeing some misses. We are. We are. And uh, a lot of pressure here because none of them want to hear you sing. Yeah, well... We'll talk about that later because my concert is sold out. Don't worry. Your concert? What? Yeah. You're talking about a captive audience of your family? I that have, is terrifying. I have other uh, You know, in America, they call that abuse, sir. I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm just putting that out there. Well, you know, and you, you do something on the side, too. We won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so here is Preeti now. Uh, what she's going to do is free up those two black coins because the coins that are away from you on the opposite base tend to be the most difficult coins. Yes. And now Chamil has uh, four whites left. Preeti's coins are quite scattered, except for the two that are in the opposite base. Um, what I'm loving about this match is it's very well balanced compared to our last series uh, between Yo uh, Ajay and Yogesh, which was a total domination by Yogesh. This one is, uh, is really very riveting. We're at the edge of our seats here. And wow. here you there saw... She, the idea coin. The idea coin. Oh, you there remember. You, hey, I remember. You remember the I remember stuff, bro. All you right? remember my lessons. Chill, uncle. Chill. Okay? <laughs> and first of all, you're definitely making up your own Karam terms. You're like, I call this the idea coin. Remember to say that. I'm like, just calm down, all right? It's, it's just called you, a cut shot. Well, it's just a cut shot. He's like, no idea coin, guys. That's, <laughs> that's an Uncle Nilesh original, huh? Mm. And you, you saw that, but the idea did not work, though. That, it, she took the coin, but did. it didn't release other coins. That's but true. Sometimes the idea coins... That's true. That, that the is idea fair. The idea goes a begging. That is fair. You know, both of these guys are using the power of visualization to compete, and what they're visualizing is you singing to them. It's terrifying. It's really bringing out the competitive best, John what, L. What he just saw was a brilliant shot. Yeah. These are the game-changing shots because uh, wow. he is now John going L. Incredible to, bank shot. He's going to finish now. He has got the – oh, he missed Ooh. the right again. This is incredible stuff that you are wow. seeing. Wow, the queen is just – now the this, elusive queen. Yeah, the, the coin was sitting at the pocket. And, you know, there's nothing like a simple coin in Karam, but that was for Chamil Kure, for Chamil Kure to miss the coin sitting so close to the pocket is very uncharacteristic. This is, a, this is an extremely challenging game. These people make it look easy. It is incredibly difficult. And now he just brought and made it easy. And now Preeti going for the red, the queen. But all she's doing is bringing it she's to bringing her it base. Back, bringing this it is back. A defensive strategy. Absolutely. And now he has a, uh, you know, in terms of difficulty, mod modest degree of difficulty to cut the... Wow, Chamel tried it. to take the queen. It was, it was a good shot. It was a good shot, but the assassin's bullet narrowly missing the queen. Now, what Preeti is thinking is, can she take the red and Ooh. release the blacks? But there was no room for that. So now she just took a simple cover. So the red is in her pocket. And now this is going to be glancing this. 
wow. trying to take the other black, but didn't work. And Chamil now has uh, two points to his credit. Wow. So Preeti is four. Jamil is two. Wow. Incredible game. Incredible game. Absolutely. Just I'm on the edge of my seats. This is insane. And you were saying it earlier uh, that the first match that we saw yeah. between Yogesh and mm -hmm. how he completely annihilated he was a juggernaut. Ajay Arora. Yeah. This is the low scoring match. I know. And mm -hmm. But no less exciting. No less exciting. Arguably but, more exciting. And there, there, there are some misses. Yes. And one person misses and here is our third board. Preeti strikes and a good strike, Pranav. That was a good strike, good strike, strategic. And now she's going to clear her home coins. Wow. And this one is completely unhindered. And now she's thinking, what is next? So she's going to take that white. And wow. now she might use the coin over here and try to release. So she'll take that and make the striker go Ooh. around. She the striker tried to went do, around, she, but... She, she tried to do an idea coin a little bit there. Correct. Maybe. But two ideas have not worked. Wow. That was a bit of a burn. Okay. Scratching her nose. That means trouble for Chamel. That's her tell that she's about to destroy some people. Ooh, I could hear that from in here. Now that's uh, playing off the board. Back to back. Two of those Hopefully misses. no spectators were injured. We have been yeah. known to have extreme injuries in Karam from strikers yeah. to the eye and other parts. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they have introduced helmets yet. Have they in I, They need to. Okay, if Preeti's on the table, we need helmets, we need cups, we need arm pads, you know, protective mm -hmm. eye gear, everything. The strikers are flying. They're flying. Like and flying at, saucers. And right now, Chamil Kure is flying wow. with his stroke play. Truly is soaring on the table. He's going to go for those two blacks at the distant end and uh, wow okay set himself up nicely though for some future shots and now Preeti is going to go uh, is is the third Sanka time a White charm with ease. could be could be but this time the coin is closer to the pocket so it'll be a lot easier oh wow brilliant and cut back shot but Incredible. it did not disturb the bunch it did not disturb the bunch as she intended but you know why you got to be a hater all right she still got the coin in yeah she did yeah give okay. her some credit you don't know what her game is she studied yeah. under yogesh okay who did you study under you're just an oncologist oh look at that look at that shot now that's yeah what, okay that's we call it uh, and you, you were know, you were out here doubting her uncle this is okay uh, this just is chill. what we call as a hanuman shot wow okay so incredible that's the shot that she did not intend but now she's going going for a finish Last coin, and Incredible. she pockets it. Incredible. Five blacks on the board. What a cold, calculating, just assassin she is. I'm, I'm scared of her. I'm going to be honest. I was trying to make some small talk with her outside. I'm intimidated immediately. I had to come back in here. Who else intimidated you besides me? Not you. Me? That's why I'm here. Okay, good. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Well, but you were entertaining somebody else. We had an audience here, remember? We did, we did. I don't know where Nani went. Um, here we go, back on the table. Jamel coming in. What do we have for the score? 9-2, to two. Preeti. So Preeti leading 9-2, to two, and uh, this is board number 3. Board number 3. Board number 3. Uh, Come on, Jamel. Jamel. Jamel wow. breaks well. Jamel broke well. Broke and this is a good well. break. This is a good break because uh, if Jamil were to take all nine whites, which obviously did not. No. It is what we call as a white slam I, in Karam. A white slam, okay. I, I'm not sure, I think you made that up. Um, Jamil, finger game is just off right now with that one, but that's okay, this is a very trying sport. Nothing is automatic, right? Nothing is automatic. And look at that shot Did you just saw. Uh, She's playing double shots, making sure that she pockets her coins. At the same time, her next coin is all lined up. Strategizing. And Norm Look at the intensity in her eyes. Tell me you're not scared. Well. Wow. One wow. after another, pretty methodically, and this is what we call as a a double touch shot, which did not go well. Now, Chamil has to make something happen. He's trailing by seven points, so, and this is board number three. Oh, John, I'll just sank the queen. Let's see if he can cover it. This board number four, I apologize. So it's a seven-point differential. Seven-point differential. Wow, so covered the queen. Nope, 
No, he did not. No, the queen is still it's sitting still in there, the middle. Still there, yeah. still there in the middle. Okay, creating some options. That's now, cool. Preeti has to ensure that uh, she does not give seven points to Chamil because that is the difference at the moment to save the four board match because this is a four board uh, game in all and the current score is nine for Preeti and two, two for Chamil Kore. And now this is the money shot. Oh my wow. goodness, what a shot. Amazing, and amazing are, sinking of the queen. Let's see if you can this. cover it. Wow. And Jamel. this is what we call as a comeback. That is a true comeback. This is a comeback from the Sri Lankan champion. From the Sri Lankan the champion. The man who Jamel has Kure. 17 million views on the YouTube. The largest see, ever. your uncle is showing. You called it the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's just YouTube, <laughs> uncle. Let's it's focus just on the YouTube. 17 million 17 part. million on YouTube. This guy's a legend. Nobody okay. has more views. So the final score uh, is uh, nine. Brilliant comeback. Brilliant comeback by, by Jamel. By Jamel Kure. Unbelievable. 11-9. 11-9. That was insane. That was actually insane. The amazing thing about Karen, it's both a very fast game and yet also a very methodical and in many ways intellectually kind of slow game in that you have to be very methodical, very strategic. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm sweating right now. This game is heating up so much. I'm gonna have to take off my jacket and flex my pro Karam Tour okay. T-shirt. Oh my God! Don't get so hot and bothered, okay? Wait, don't I know. Come, don't some, don't go that, that close to me either. I mean, you know. Don't pretend like you don't like this, okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, just good, calm goodness. down, Uncle. Goodness. Calm down. Even though my sense of smell is not that good. Just calm. Listen, oh, your God. family's watching, okay? Just chill. Well, this is Just the, chill, Uncle. Yeah, I will. I will. Thank you, nephew. <laughs> but uh, on this particular match, what you saw was the comeback by the Sri Lankan champion. The man who... Uh, we'll talk about one game later on when Chamil plays other games. But Chamil Kure methodically Absolutely. approached that last... Absolutely. And the, the, the way he took that queen at the, in the last board was... That is what uh, highly impressive. Out. Came out of nowhere, really. We yeah. really thought Preeti was going to take this. And then out of nowhere, Jamel just bang, 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 bang. <laughs> just killing it. Just killing it. You are very aggressive here. Killing it. I mean. Well, at least I'm not you singing, okay? I'm sparing people that much. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there, all hey. right? It's, it's truly terrifying. Yeah. Anyway, we got to wrap up this round. we got some uh, very fun interview coming up with Preeti, the Cobra Queen of Karam, Jakotia, coming up. Don't embarrass yourself, Uncle. All right? I will, I will in front try, of a legend right now. I'll try my best nephew pronoun. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Preeti, that was a riveting match. We yeah. were certain you were going to take it. You were <laughs> dominant in the first two games. Take us through the take us through the match. Tell us what happened. Where do you think you went wrong? What do you think Chamel did right? I think uh, where I went wrong um, in uh, not this board, but the previous board. Uh, you know, I lost a couple of strokes mm -hmm. uh, as my striker was jumping. Uh, but third board, I was able to come back, and um, I think. Uh, I missed simple straights, and uh, you know that costed me last board. It was fundamentals. You handled it like a champion. How are you feeling going into the U.S. Open in the next few days? Yes, I'm. I hope I am getting ready for it, and uh, I'm too excited for the U.S. Open. And there will be a lot of uh, good players, so I have to do better than this, and I hope to do better in the finals mm -hmm. this event. Absolutely. You're up against Yogesh Pardesi. How are you feeling about that? That's intimidating. He's a master. Steam, absolutely steamrolled the U.S. champion, Ajay, the exterminator, who was exterminated. But... Yeah, yeah. That was too good. He, he didn't miss at all and he played really good. His, uh, his brain is full of Karam. A lot of experience. And... Uh, He's a huge champion. I have a uh, huge respect for him. So let's see. I, I have beaten him before. I have uh, defeated him before. Okay, that was so a I have some. Burn. I have some experience, and so let's see how it how it goes. Okay, you're not feeling intimidated at all. I'm not afraid at all. Oh, that's oh, amazing. Yeah. What a yeah. lion! That's why we call you the Lion King of Karam, straight from Sri Lanka. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Pro Carom Tour. Tonight has been another exciting event by Pro League Network. If you haven't seen any of the other niche sports available from PLN, go now to ProLeagueNetwork.com and see what all the fuss is about. For Dr. Meta and Pranav, my name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Pro Carom Tour. We'll see you next time. <laughs>